Retro Maniacs, we just went and checked Wally, and gee, I messaged him and told him we were checking Wally, because I usually keep him in the loop, he lives close by, not too far, and he tells me to stop by on my way back. Now that could mean one of two things, could mean I'm in trouble, because he's kind of one of my handlers, or the Boss Hog car is done. Now I don't think I'm in trouble, I haven't done anything wrong, I haven't even stomped on that guy in the white truck's head because he uh, nearly took the back end of our car off. Heaven forbid we're doing the speed limit. Anyway, let's go see what's uh, cracking over there. Look at this guy, he's about to unveil it. Here we go. Boss hog cut. Oh my goodness. Wow. Wow. That is awesome. Wow. I think she came out pretty good. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna do a video just on this, just showing it. That's crazy. Wow. Yeah, the horns came perfect. Oh, yeah. oh wow. They were the perfect size. Wow. Wow, guys, we're going to get a better look at home, but wow, look at that. That's amazing. Yeah, I'm going to take a 60 million pictures of this when I get home. Wow. And you know what I'm going to order for it? The decals for yeah. his uh, license plate. I've yeah. seen that people have that. And if you can also, I could, I could, I did, I thought I had, um, I thought I had caddy decals for the sides, but I didn't. I didn't. Oh, this is beautiful. I can't believe that. Wow. Yeah, Guys, he knocked it out of the park. I could not ask for a single thing better with this. Now again, Boss's Cadillac was a DeVille. This is an Eldorado, it's a different year, but this is the same car that they used in the 2005 Dukes movie. It's that close. But look at that, wow. We're going to do something in a little bit of a different order. I just showed you it on the look -see set just for a second because I'm so excited. But we're going to plop down on the couch on the Retro Collectibles Crack It set. And we're going to talk about this. I'm going to show you this car, show you where it came from. In fact, while I'm getting set up over there, I'll show you where this car came from. You won't believe it. Okay, guys. So this is what I brought poor G to start out with. I had a few different choices. I had a white eggshell color one with red interior I was thinking about using, or another eggshell color one with a uh, pace car on the door I was thinking of using, but that had a red interior, which is a bitch to paint. Or this ugly green one that was beautiful details and everything, but it had a white interior. We needed the white interior. And honestly, this thing is gorgeous other than the color. Made by a company called Anson, if anybody's wondering. I paid either $30 or $40 for it, loose, but it was mint. Um, but yeah, I scored this off of Kijiji, which is like Craigslist everywhere else. Uh, but look at the detail of this. So it was a very good candidate, and there's a real 75 Eldorado. I'm so excited to show this off, guys. I so want to go into the Canadian 1 of 18 scale diecast group and show it to the guys in there. Tony Hoskins, who used the exact same Anson green Cadillac that I did. But that is amazing. So he used, uh, so it came with chrome on the side. You guys remember that. But he used chrome metal foil, I think he called it, or metal foil. Uh, to put other accents, uh, he did it below the chrome lips, or the trunk lip, and he did it over the wheel wells. I think it pops. Okay. He did all that. Look at those bullhorns, guys. So this video might not be as long as our regular ones because we're not actually unboxing this thing. But this thing deserved a video all of its own to show you guys. Now, keep in mind, he had this completely apart. And everything is back together the way it's supposed to go back together. 
steering wheel still turns the wheels like everything still works um and he had her completely stripped nothing on the bottom but there was originally nothing no details on the bottom but the reason i picked this guys is because it came with some nice details already i thought it was an excellent candidate drove to mississauga to pick it up one day you guys were with me actually now the trunk doesn't open but we don't care about that we don't care about that uh, one thing I'm going to do, the only upgrade I'm going to do to this is I'm going to get the Boss Hog license plates. Uh, you can get the decals off of eBay. And I'm sure a hundred other places. Now to open up the hood, he advises not to do it by the bullhorns because he had just finished this tonight. Like, I literally went to check Wally, guys, and I messaged him, told him I was going to check Wally because he's kind of one of the hunting partners. I said, I'll let you know if I see anything over there. And then he said, on the way back, why don't you drop in? So I did. And I'm glad I did. Uh, this is... So by the time you guys see this video, I will have had this car for 24 hours because I just uploaded... The video unboxing the 2020 red mustang i had just uploaded that when i got the call to pick this up so i'm holding back the pictures off facebook until this video drops and i'm so excited to show it off guys wow now i am going to get the uh, Mego figure uh, the three and three quarter inch vintage boss hog not the bigger one you can get bigger dukes of hazard Migos that wore clothing not those. We You want the three and three quarter inch, like the Bowen Luke that I use beside my silver screen general. Well, you'll see them in a minute. But yeah, I'm going to get a boss hog for this. But man, gee, you really killed it. And by the way, people that live in our area, G can be commissioned to do this. Um, you would just have to pick up an Anson Cadillac. I'm going to be looking for Anson Cadillacs as well, like this, in case people want to do projects. I know Glenn's going to want to get one done. But that's amazing. You know what? I'm going to go get the General before we close it off. Oh, good Lord. Now these are the three and three quarter inch Mego figures. If you're a new viewer, this is what I use with my silver screen General Lee. If you're an older viewer, then you know I use these because they're the right size and they articulate and plus they add cool factor because they're vintage. And he's hard to stand up with me holding the camera, but you get the idea. Um, you could pose them like this, like resin ones, you can't do that. These two do stand up great. I'm just having a hard time because I got the camera. So I'll let them fall over like drunks. But check that out. Why is Luke looking around all shifty like that, guys? They've got their own car over here. Yeah, they're taking it, guys. They're going to take it for a rip. I'm going to get some glamour shots to show you guys. Uh... Retro Maniacs, would you look at that? He way exceeded my expectations. The friggin' paint looks like it's factory applied. Remember, he, he applied it in those different stages. He did primer coats. He did all... He told me everything he did, and it was like it was Greek to me, because if it was me that painted it, I'd have been painting it with model paint and a paintbrush. Uh, he used the metal foil, the chrome metal foil. Look at those accents. That thing pops. And we did it with an already nicely detailed car. Anson makes nice stuff. This is my first experience with Anson, and they seem to know how to make a Cadillac. Because look at that thing. It looks good. It's got a little bit of wood grain. He killed it with those bullhorns. Look at that. Wow. Perfect size in my opinion. 
and man did he put the details on it he put marbling on it i had to show you guys plenty of glamour shots just because i'm so so thrilled with this car gee you have no idea how happy i am my next purchase i think is going to be a boss hog three and three quarter inch Mego. i'm going to start tracking it down look at the before and after wow that is crazy i cannot believe that that was such an ugly green we joke we think that's why i got it so cheap because of that ugly green color it was because it was a nice car except for that but that is going to go good with some other hazard vehicles. Now I think I'm going to have to get a Jesse Duke truck and a Daisy Jeep and all that. Before I was happy with the General, but now I need more. Look at that, guys. Well, guys, wow, I am thrilled about that. It's not, like I said, it might not be as long of a video, but I just wanted to do a video to the point to show you this car, to show you the talent my friend G has. I am thrilled. He literally, I seen that car one day. I said, boom, that'd be perfect. Because I was when I seen they made a convertible Cadillac, you guys know I've been talking about it for a while. He exceeded my, like the paint is so smooth and it, it looks like it's factory done. He had that thing completely apart. It looks like he washed the interior cause it had, you know, dirt cause it's probably an older die cast that was displayed. It pops. Wow. So I had to show you guys that, um, not going to give you the old rigmarole with, uh, but I do want you to smash the like button and uh, share it with your buddies. And if you haven't done it yet, for God's sake, subscribe. Come on, you know you enjoy the videos. And as always guys, be safe and happy hunting. This beat is stupid grimy huh, That's a Cobra Kai kick There's some open eyes Should open eyes when I spit I get Wound up like dogs around a postmaster The dough stack up with no mana I'm cracking